Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 WeWare Review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people, Episode 1, Homestar Ruiner, Episode 2, Strong Bad of the Free, Episode 3, Baddest of the Bands, Episode 4, Dangerous 3, The Criminal Projective, and Episode 5, 8-Bit is Enough. So there we go at the start then. Start of them is pretty much all the same. You've got new game, save load, settings, quit it, and preview of the next episode. Obviously the fifth one doesn't have that, because there is no epi next episode. Uh, settings, you can just change how many hints are on. Unfortunately you can't completely switch them off, so you still get a few. Uh, but you can put them on low at least. You can change subtitles and things like that. There's a tutorial on every game, but it's the same tutorial on every game, so just to save you some time, because I went on it just simply because the script's that funny, I thought maybe they'll do something different, but they don't. So, let's just start a new game then. So there we go then. The whole point of all the five games are basically point and click games, so you're constantly going to be like, pointing on things, he'll say something, or if it's a useful item he'll pick it up, then once you've picked up items you'll have to go into inventory, pick up the items again, and then try to use them on other items, or use them on people. You get a few locations on each one, you get new locations as they go through. For example, this one here, Strong Sad's Room's locked, on the second one, it's unlocked, and it's Strong Mad's Room that's locked. So it's one of them things, you, get, you don't just get house locations though, you get other locations. But the whole point of the game, as I say, the, the five of them is just you're pointing on things all the time to see what happens, to get the reaction, to get a funny bit of dialogue hopefully, and then you go through and beat it. Uh, the story changes on everyone. The first one is just simply about right, winning of the big race. The, the second the one door. is the I'm king of town imposes an unfair Jesus tax, so Strong Bad wants to take over his throne. Totally the third one, to Strong Bad wants to be in a band, so he creates a band and enters the battle of the bands contest. The fourth one is to do with the Dangerous movie, which you can view the first two online, but you don't really need to know the story, they're just daft little movies. And the third one, sorry, the fourth one is just basically the third movie of that, so it follows the story of the third movie. Uh, then you've got the fifth one, which is about breaking this arcade game over here, which is funny because it's already broke through the first four episodes, but you break it even more, and then the video game world merges with the real world, and you're basically playing through a video game. There's also some daft little mini games like this you can play as well, but they're not the really, nothing really too special anyway. So most of the time you'll play them once and then never play them again. Really, you can uh, unlock some cheats for them though to make them even dafter, and you just basically find the manuals lying around the place. It's another one of them things that you have to search all over the place. But what with there being quite a few locations on the game, you might be wondering how it works, so this is it. This is the map of the second one anyway, the maps are different on them, because this is set up like the uh, a map of war really, simply because the whole point is, as I say, you're trying to overthrow the king. But the places go on the maps and then you just cycle through them like that. Loading doesn't usually take that long, but uh, some loading times can be a bit of a pain, it depends on what you're trying to do to be fair. But the, uh, the main draw of the games is simply the humour behind them. So it's one of them things, if you don't like point and click games but you like a good laugh then it might be worth getting them because there are some really really funny moments in it. Some of the insults Strong Bad does and just some of the things that happen are just really daft and funny but it's one of them things as I say if you don't like point and click games then you are doing that the entire time so it mightn't be worth it. However if you do like point and click games and you like a good laugh then personally I don't see how you can go wrong with these games because while the 5,000 points they're about four hours long each of them at roundabouts after you beat the game there's like an extra mode to play through so you can just like tie up some loose ends and things like that and as I say I've got the mini games which well, you'll probably only play them once or twice, they can, you never know, it might just be me that plays them once or twice, there might be people out there who love them, so it's just one of them things, you might have to try it to see if you like it. Stupid played out internet cliche. Alright! So there we go then, that's been the review, I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion, so instead I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid or that hasn't been answered in the comments, then feel free to ask and I'll help if I can. Also, if you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my channel because there's plenty more like this up there, and don't forget to subscribe because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.